secrets to a quality life. What does it mean to have a quality life? Is it about wealth or prosperity? Kakpa Baby in this series titled Secrets to a Quality Life gives an insight on the quality of life from God's perspective. It is easy to assume that once you have things you'll enjoy, but it's not true. If God doesn't give you that power, you can never enjoy it. Get your copy now. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Hello. Kakra continues his powerful teaching titled, Deliverance from Trouble. Yesterday, he shared that not going to church invites trouble. Today, he shares what happens when we don't pray. Let's join in. Number two, they did not burn incense. What does it mean? They didn't pray. Psalm 141 says, Let my prayer ascend before thee like incense, and the lifting up of my hands like the evening sacrifice. You see, when you burn incense, it rises. In the book of Revelations, they burn incense with the prayers of the people, and it goes to God. So number two, they stop praying. When you stop praying, it means you have start, you've stopped fighting against demons. Because as for demons, they are always operating, always attacking. But prayer keeps them at bay. So the minute you stop praying, it means that your defenses are coming down. You are now telling the demons, the coast is clear. You can come. It's a defense. That is why every morning you must pray. Every day you must pray. Because if you don't pray, you are inviting what? Trouble. Because the only thing that stops demons and evil spirits is prayer. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, against principalities, powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Praying always with all prayer and supplication and watching the unto with all perseverance for all sins. Sometimes it's amazing you pray and the testimonies that come out out of simple prayers. You wonder that, hey, so these prayers, they are so powerful like that. Yes. They stop demons from operating. I pray for many people. I've had so many testimonies of deliverance. One day we prayed for somebody with anointing oil and the person went and anointed their grandmother and then they went to church. When they went to church, there was a fire in the house. The grandmother was asleep in the night. The person told me the house got burnt. But the grandmother was still lying in the bed. Only where she was. The fire didn't go. She was there. When they went, they could find the grandmother lying on the bed asleep. <laughs> prayer. One day there was a guy. They kidnapped his brother for sacrifice. They kidnapped him on the road. But it was one week or two weeks. Five or some days. Long time. They couldn't find him for about two weeks. The guy was missing. So the guy came, he said, look, my brother has been missing for about two weeks. We know where he is. So we prayed, not knowing some people are kidding. They captured three people. They killed two. He was the last one they were going to kill. When we prayed, on that very day, the people were going to kill him. They told him that our God said they don't like you anymore. So they released him. That's how he escaped. So, by, when we pray by the following, you can by the following day, the guy had appeared. The God said they don't like him anymore. They had, like the Daniel and the lions, then the lions were hungry, but when they saw Daniel, they said we are fasting three days for a tripod. 
He said, treat this dry fast. We don't like this meat. Prayer. Amen. Amen. So if you don't want trouble, you should do what? Pray. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that when we stop praying, we actually invite trouble because prayer inhibits the activities of demons. Before we leave, here is a praise report to boost your faith in the Lord. Visa granted, now in the U.S. Dear Capra, I wrote to you seeking prayer about an American visa interview I was to attend. You replied and said the Lord had gone ahead of me and the interview will be successful. To the glory of God, my interview was less than 10 minutes. Immediately after, my visa was approved and I'm currently in America. God richly bless you. For your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full month message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony, and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.